It is the first model of the Neon Genesis Evangelion event of 2023. It is EVM0N Unit 0, with the kit of Restore, Guard 500, Sacrifice, Biped Legs, and the Leg Ability of Super Armor, which renders the user immune to paralyzed ailments, including uh, Shock and Freeze, a certain number of hits relative to the part rank. Now, as the first model to spearhead the Neon Genesis Evangelion collaboration at the start of the year 2023, we are most certainly off to a great start with a very well-known model and a very solid kit all the same with it. Head of Restore is a healing base skill that when used will allow Unit Zero to restore a broken part back to himself or an ally back at 10% HP. Now, this only has four uses and can only restore back one part, but honestly does give itself very good synergy, especially given that it's left, it has a left arm of sacrifice. Right arm of guard 500 is a defense based skill that means it will put unit zero on the center line to intercept any and all incoming blows. At the, of course, with the added bonus that he will be mitigating about 500 or so flat damage from every incoming attack. The rest of the incoming damage reduction will be reliant on his legs, melee, and shoot resist, which I will get to in just a moment. Left Arm of Sacrifice and its only spe and its only actual skill of combat is a melee is the melee variant of the skill, which will pump a, a, the remaining HP of the part into bonus damage when attacking the out when attacking the enemy, and then of course self destruct at the end of its use. Now, as a as is essentially a uh, artillery variant of an all-rounder type kit, Unit Zero's kit actually works moderately well together, which means that it can serve a pretty large plethora of roles just by itself without really needing to change how it behaves. Restore and Sacrifice actually work together moderately well, even if Sacrifice will be, sacri will be of course, sacrificing a lot of its high-end damage after that first strike, unless there's someone else on the team that can restore lost HP and make its next, uh, second, third, or fourth hits even stronger if it can stall out and space them. Guard 500 also does give it a very solid um, defensive attribute, especially if offense isn't necessarily the safest bet. And even though I tend to grade Guard, Guard 300, Guard 500 a little harshly, Unit 0 actually does make it work moderately well for a number of reasons. HP pool also is very, very high too, as expected of a tanky uh, mixed fighter, fighter like he is. Head at about 4,100 HP, the shield arm at about 4,850, his left arm at about 4,400, and legs at about 3,600 HP. Very solid HP pool, which means he can take a hit moderately well, even before any other modifiers to assist in damage reduction, without it crippling him too easily. His leg stats are absurdly good too, if I'm completely honest, with a fantastic ability on top of that. Leg armor I just went over at about 3,600, which is very, very nice. Mobility at 869 is very, very good too, as this will put him in the upper tier of where most bipeds want to be or desire to be, especially if you want to keep speed at the forefront. Evade of 1248 is actually really good for biped legs, which means that whenever he's not guarding, he will have a moderately decent time um, dodging or grazing a lot of low success attacks. But the melee and shoot resist... At 1488 and 1229 each is where Unit Zero really shines, as it especially ties into his damage reduction of, of the Guard 500. So even if it means that he will be basically set, uh, setting himself as a glorified meat sponge, the high damage reductions there with his resist stat means that he is going to keep damage moderately low even before anything else comes into effect, which means he's not going to lose the shield as easily as you may think uh, once he does set himself on the line. And with a heavy, a heavy limit of two, they are very solid legs that you can use pretty much anywhere. And even though that doesn't necessarily put unit zero on the highest punish possible from anyone using gravity skills, it is still encouraged that you be wary of anyone that is using, say, break or break hammer or wide break when using unit zero because he's still packing two heavy parts which will contribute some bonus damage. The leg ability of Super Armor honestly does work especially well to Unit Zero's advantage as a mixed range fighter and defender, given that he will render himself completely immune to anyone that tries to stall him, such as say with Freeze or Shock or Thundershot or Thunder or uh, Freeze Shot. He will actually he will stomp right through it and soldier on without even so much as breaking a sweat, which works very much so in his favor if you choose to use him as a defense-oriented type of model. 
That being said, as a pure set score, I do have to rate Unit 0 very solid 6.5, maybe even a 7 out of 10. Because it is a mixed range fighter, it does make mastery over how you want to use him relatively tricky. Now granted, you don't need to really put anything into healing in this case, and you can kind of split it between defense and melee, but all the same, it does make it a little tricky to use him, especially after you sacrifice the first time. Especially for the reason mentioned that even though he can cover himself with restore, that second, third, fourth, and fifth hit aren't going to hit nowhere near as hard as that first one, um, unless he has someone else on the team that can restore lost HP. As mixed parts, I do have to rate him just a little bit higher at a 7 out of 10, given that even though the, his kit is very widely diverse, they are very solid skills that you could use pretty easily anywhere with very little flex with, with very much flexibility and not really having to put a lot of time and effort into thinking about it. Aside, of course, from the arms being heavy, legs have very solid variety and versatility at two heavy slots with fantastic stats and a great ability. They're honestly something you really can't ever go wrong with. Now, as a closing thought, it is also worth noting that Unit Zero is also gender N, which means that its parts can be used on a male or female type tin pet freely, which grants even more flexibility to this rather tanky mixed fighter.